All right, all right, all right. Let's get started with a very special poker chip video where I'm looking at a very special set of poker chips. These are the Latin Quarter ceramic poker chips, and I gotta tell you, they are just beautiful. The video doesn't really do justice to the bold colors and striking graphic designs. Where did I get these chips, you might ask? Well, I was biding my time on PokerChipForum.com, which is where you should go if you're into the world of poker chips. It's a great resource. There's poker chip reviews, there's poker chip this and that, there's a lot of what we call poker chip prawn, which is gorgeous photos of poker chips, and everything poker chip. And I was on there, and apparently, if you have a YouTube channel where you review poker chips, uh, this nice gentleman named Mike reached out to me on PokerChipForum.com, PCF. He messaged me and asked if I wouldn't mind reviewing a set of his new poker chips, which are going to be coming out on Kickstarter soon. And I said, well, sure, I'd love to do that. And he sent me a picture, and they were gorgeous, and then he sent them to me, a sample set in the mail, and then they were even more stunning in person. So here they are, the Latin Quarter Ceramics. Going to go through a review here. Like most ceramics, they're pretty darn near indestructible. If you're using them for home use, they're going to last forever, basically. Let me tell you my first impressions. Just how gorgeous they are, that's the big thing. But what I really love about these chips is they accomplish two things at the same time that are very important with poker chips. The first thing they accomplish is they have a beautiful detail about them and it's small details and it's gorgeous and it just makes it rich and beautiful. That can be a problem with some poker chips. If you have too much detail then you can't really kind of tell what's going on. But here you've got beautiful detail and then you've also got bold graphics that say the Latin Quarter, it's unmistakable. And even better, on the other side you've got denominations which are crystal clear. So even blind people like me, I can't see so great these days, can tell exactly what the denominations are. So you get beautiful small details and big bold denominations and graphics. It's a great combination and it's my favorite thing about these chips. I love that there's no dollar signs or euro signs or English pound signs, so you can use it for tournament or cash. This is the one and the five. They play beautifully together. Never have been a giant fan of white or gray chips, but this thing, this guy is just pretty and the red really pops it's a genuine cherry red it just looks gorgeous so we'll go through these one by one in close up as we do on this here channel just so you can get a really good look yeah. then you'll notice that the edge the latin quarter gorgeous i love that and we have the green 25 just pops and i love that there's a different image on each side makes it dope it reminds me of the olden days somehow I'm going to definitely include a link where you can find these chips as soon as Mike gets me one. That'll be in the description. That's the 25. Let's move on to the hundo. Never the biggest fan of black chips, but this is the perfect choice for the 100. Black is typically the default color for 100 chips, whether in cash or tournaments. Also a big fan of the 500 because it's so pretty. And it's not nearly, it's not close to the 100 at all, so you're not going to have a dirty stack issue. It's really obvious which is which which can be a problem sometimes for purples and blacks. This, this purple-ish, bluish is light enough. That, that should not be an issue. And finally, we have the orange for the 1K. I think this would mostly be used for tournaments, I would say. Oh, and each chip with the graphics has a little offsetting color, which is really nice. And they all work together really well, which is really cool. So you got your red text here on the, on the 500 and your blue text on the 1K. Just love that. And in a stack, these things look fantastic, even in a small sample size. All the chips are easily distinguishable from each other, which is really important. There is no dirty stack issue here, I'm happy to report. He also sent me these cool dice, which are really neat. I've never had a set of dice like this with the square edges. Not sure what I would use it for, but they're very cool. Just really pretty to look at of the sharp edges, very cool. So Mike, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your poker chips. They are dope. I will provide the link to the Kickstarter and hopefully y'all can go on and check it out and get some. But these are cool, they just pop. You know, they're just a flavorful, fun, ceramic set of chips. Just a great design, beautiful design, fun. Poker chips are just fun. And stuff like this, you know, that people are so creative, come up with their own designs and do their own thing. Look for the Kickstarter link. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this exclusive special showing of the Latin Quarter poker chips in ceramic, all their ceramic glory. Hope you've enjoyed this video. 
It's been brief, but it's been fun. As always, thanks so much for watching. And make sure you check out the Latin Quarter Ceramics Kickstarter link in the description. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Peace. We out.